Okay, this is a tutorial for Lucky and maybe a few other people. I've created a document and I've uh, put a rectangle the size of the document as a background. In fact, I might even lock that. And I've coloured it a kind of an orange. Uh, we need to create some text because I didn't want the background to be white, I wanted it to be a colour. So artistic text and we'll just drag in a letter and the symbol of the moment is the at symbol so I'll type an at symbol and we'll create a rectangle to slice through it and don't need to have a fill um, don't even really need to have a stroke just needs to exist as a bound as it were as a curve without stroke or fill so we have the rectangle selected and we have now the text selected so both of those are selected and we can go to layer create compound and at the moment the compound is in add mode adds it acts like a boolean um, so you've got like add subtract intersect divide and combine but on this one you've got add intersect subtract XOR we want subtract and it knocks out that space where the rectangle exists uh, if you select the move tool it shows you the bounds of the selection and because the rectangle is a little bit wider um, the actual export would be wider so let's just get the color on this you can do that just by moving one of these sliders uh, like so much I have to flip the there you go so we've got the fill as black uh, the rectangle can now be resized to fit closer to the bounds of the um, symbol if you notice down here, if I just zoom in a little, I haven't quite nibbled that edge off. So we need to select the rectangle and pull it out a little bit. That's better. Okay, zoom out. And now if we select the compound and select the move tool to show the bounds, we've got a much tighter fit. And now we need to go to export, export selection without background. In the more settings you've got this particular option, rasterize, you can select nothing. But in this instance that's not really necessary. So just make sure area selection without background, export. And give your SVG a name. I've already done this before so I'll just replace that and we can drag the SVG into this document and if it's got a transparent background it'll look exactly the same as this I'll drag it in I uh, just need to zoom out a little bit Bonk. and it's an embedded document so it shows that it's got a transparent background you can actually go into Firefox um, and go into the uh, preferences or appear, uh, options then go to languages and appearance and then under that there's a section called colors and you can change the background of the Firefox uh, like work area the page area just to check that this actually is an SVG with transparency and you'll see if you change it to sort of kind of a, I don't know, a soft green or a, a yellow you'll see that this will not have a background and I'm going to show you so I've changed it to a, a weird little green and if I drag my SVG in if it's got a white background you won't see the green through the uh, SVG but if I drag it in we have an SVG with black and you can see the background this is just to kind of prove that the background isn't actually white, although it looks white, it isn't actually white. It's just that a lot of browsers, as a default, have their background as white. Kind of makes sense. 
Now that's just to prove this this particular instance. Uh, get rid of that now. And that's it. Um, I can delete that document now. Oops. If I'll just drag it down to the bin. Poof. And we can type in a word. I'll just zoom out a little bit more. Like so. And we can change this to a word. Um, I get the text tool. That's better. Type in uh, something original like. Hey, no, that don't really work, does it? Uh, boy, there you go. Now, because the rectangle is shorter than the word, it only cuts off part of it. But that's easily adjusted. Just drag that out, and again, make sure it's within the bounds of the text as, as much as possible. And then you can export that out, and it'll do exactly the same thing. Um, I hope you learn something lucky, and I hope other people learn something. And as me doing this, I've learnt a few things, a few tips and tricks. Um, enjoy!